so in this video we'll discuss about schistosomiasis and we'll learn some of the high yield points uh, about this disease and we'll learn a mnemonic to remember these high yield points so the mnemonic is 10 s of schistosomiasis so now we'll uh, discuss briefly about these 10 s so the first one is schistosoma so this infection is basically caused by the parasite schistosoma uh, basically the human infections are caused by schistosoma mansoni schistosoma hematobium or schistosoma japonicum uh, these are the blood rematrodes or the blood flukes. This infection is also known as Wilhardgiasis. Uh, so the, the second S is for the reason uh, where this infection is more prevalent. So it's more prevalent in the sub-Saharan Africa, South America and Southeast Asia. So third S is for the snails. So the parasites which are responsible for schistosomiasis uh, leaving the certain types of the freshwater snails so it is very important to remember that snails are involved in the life cycle of th this parasite the fourth is the skin penetration so basically people become infected uh, when they come in contact with the contaminated fresh water uh, and next is for next s is to understand where these parasite settles so basically this parasite settles in the mesenteric veins or in the vesicle plexus. Basically they, this parasite live in the blood vessel, they lay eggs in the blood vessel and those eggs uh, can gradually pass to the uh, small intestine or the intestine and to the bladder as well. So basically this hematobium it lies in the vesicle plexus and causes the hematuria where this mansoni and japonicum they usually reside in the mesenteric vein. Uh, and cause GI and the hepatic systems uh, symptoms so next is systemic hypersensitivity reaction so acute uh, schistosomiasis usually presents as a systemic hypersensitivity reaction it is also known as katayama fever and the sign and symptoms include fever cough abdominal pain diarrhea hepatosplenomegaly eosinophilia and sometimes skin rashes as well So the usual presentation is uh, with hematuria uh, if the bladder is involved or the bloody diarrhea if the uh, gastrointestinal system is involved. Uh, for the diagnosis, uh, we have to examine the stool and urine samples. So they can be examined for the parasite eggs. So stool can be examined uh, in cases of the mansoni and japonicum infection where the urine examination is required for the hematobium eggs. So sometimes when these urine or stool samples uh, do not give the definitive diagnosis, then in those cases, sometimes serology might also be required. So ninth is this uh, parasitic infection can be easily treated or simply treated with a praziquantel. So you can give the 40 milligram per kg praziquantel in divided doses for one day and that will cure the disease. And the number 10 is long-standing untreated schistosoma infection can cause squamous cell carcinoma of the urinary bladder. So I hope uh, using this 10S uh, mnemonic, you can easily remember the high yield points related to the schistosomiasis. So if we, this video was helpful, then please subscribe to our channel and let us know what type of videos you want from our channel. Thank you so much.